What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be looking at a GM ignition key programming procedure. Uh, this particular procedure fits many different vehicles. If you're unsure what procedure your vehicle takes, you can visit our website, programautokeys.com. So a couple things before we get into it. The first thing is this procedure is going to be if you've lost all the keys for your vehicle. When you do this, when you program in this new key, it will erase any that you've previously had. So this is going to be for all keys lost. If you need to just add a key without erasing your old ones, we've actually done that video before, and I'll put that uh, the first link in the description box of the video. Um, so we got that covered. The next thing we need to do is make sure we have our blade cut. This is a new key, unprogrammed, but you need to have the blade cut. Uh, your two places, your two options for that are going to be a dealership or an automotive locksmith. So once we have those two things. Um, the third thing being, you need to allot yourself about 30 minutes. This is a timed procedure. It's going to take you probably 30 to 35 minutes. So just make sure you have your, enough time before you start. Um, so I think that should do it. Once we have ourselves to that point where we have our new unprogrammed key with the blade cut, we can get into the next step. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. We have our new unprogrammed key. And then I have a phone here that I'm going to use to time myself. So what we need to do is go ahead and put the key in the ignition, turn to the on position, and we're gonna leave it in the on position. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press start here. This first part is gonna take 10 minutes. And what we're gonna be looking at actually is for the security light to go at. And the security light is that right there. So at about the 10 minute mark, that light is gonna go off. So we're at... Uh, about 17 seconds here. I'll go ahead and check back in once we get closer to the 10 minute mark. Okay, so we're getting close to our 10 minute mark here. We're go ahead and just, uh, we're actually at 9.50. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this security light here. Again, we're waiting for that to go out. As you saw there, it just turned off. So now you wanna take your ignition and turn it to off. You're going to turn it back to on, leave back on, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll go ahead and reset our timer, and we'll see you in another 10 minutes. So we're coming up on our second 10-minute mark. We're at about 9 minutes, 50 seconds now. The light just turned off. So we're going to turn it to off, turn back to on, and we need to do it one more time. Reset our timer. Oops. And we'll see you in 10 minutes. So now we're getting into our third and final 10 minute mark. And before we get there, I do just want to give you guys a heads up that on the security light on the third time, it may look a little different. Instead of just going out, it may flash once. It may keep flashing repeatedly, or it may just simply go out. The main thing you want to keep an eye on is your 10 minute mark. And then just look for a change in the security light. So now we reached our third and final 10 minute mark. So now we're gonna turn our key to off. We're gonna turn it to on. And now our key should be programmed. Let's go ahead, take the key out and start it to test. And you kind of notice there, I've noticed when you first program in the new key, you almost have to start it, it feels like, for an extra second or two. Hold it cranked forward. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out, and we'd appreciate it. Thank you.